Okay guys, straight on to the next video, the paperwork of this car. Um, I didn't even go through this with the guy. I didn't even, I'm so lazy. I was, he was so honest about telling me everything that was broken on the car. I didn't feel like I needed to even go through the paperwork. I was almost buying it on the assumption that there was nothing. One thing is the chap said in the description um, that he only had service history or, it read to me like he, he was saying it only it was only serviced in 2017 that's all the history he had so i was like oh it doesn't have service history before he had it but then um he he i just read it wrong he has full service history this car it's had five i'm just going to flip this back five previous owners looks like it was bought from farm brush it's a surrey car which is a nice affluent area so hopefully it had a nice affluent owner um evidence of maintenance work which is useful um so we've had brake fluid done when was the last time that was done 2015 brake fluid so it could probably do with some brake fluid coolant hasn't been done for a long time oh hold on i'm talking shit sorry 2018 so that was done on that probably on the service that this chap had that's useful actually and it's good that a garage has done it. Hopefully they'll have used, they'll have used, it's interesting, what's that date there? Distance reading. Oh, that's when it's next due. Oh, that's okay. That's gonna be due. We're gonna be, we'll do the coolant. I always think it's important with the coolant to use the proper, you know, deionized water that you get for doing radiators so you don't get the scale build up. Some people argue otherwise, but I just think it's worth spending that extra, whole extra quid for proper water, you know. Um, what do we got? It's PDI here. We've got running in check. That's not ticked actually. Oh, only M3, M5 or Roanster. Okay. So first oil service, 03. Barons of Farnborough, fine. Microfilter, so does that mean uh, cabin filter or air filter I don't know here I'm sure that, that's cabin filter isn't it I don't know uh, oil service will probably take care of the oil filter interesting isn't it I suppose 13,000 miles here yeah, fair enough you probably want to do that oil filter every 10 20,000 miles don't you and change the oil every 10 20,000 miles um, anyway I don't know what exactly is involved in this inspection one inspection two I need to figure that out because that's really important that's how they they categorize the services but 13,000 26,000 40,000 53,000 all in barons of Farnborough so I assume it's with the same owner still here 67,000 81,000 and bang vines of Gapwick 93,000 so it looks like it's changed hands here um, then Bartley's 107,000 when was this in tens, this car's been used 113,000. Bartley's of Southampton. The chap told me he bought it from someone up the road from him, and I bet you this is this person here. So, Bartley's of Southampton 122, 127, 130, 140. Iridium, this is the guys I think that had a go at um, trying to fix the trying to diagnose the problem with the uh, errors. Um, so, they're a BMW specialist. That's it. So the good news is this car has been serviced quite regularly, guys. Typically within 10,000 miles of each other. 148,000 miles it's done. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 services. It's been serviced regularly, which is really important. So it's been looked after. It kind of shows. It's been looked after to a point, okay? Um, let's go back down and dig through some of this. Dig through some of this stuff. What is this? Let's just see. Oh, wow. Oh, no, okay. I thought this was the original sales invoice. Okay, I'm well, not going to show, try not to show you the names of people on here, just out of, out of respect for people. This is just little bits of work that when, when, when was this? This was. Where's the date? This is 2006. What is it? Checking function of infrared locking. Refit near side skirt at front end. That's interesting because that's ripped off skirts. So that did, that, that's just given me a bit of valuable information that this car did have those front 
skirts on it, those lower black things, so I might need to replace those. All right, so let's keep all of this paperwork in here. Let's have a look what else we've got here. More work. More work. This is service invoice. Inspection one, including body inspection, micro air filter, oil filter. So that's what an inspection one is. And it's using Castrol SLX synthetic. Replace fluid, brake fluid. Good. Um, that's about it. So it looks like inspection one is an oil service. What is this? Inspection sheet. Not too interested in all of this stuff with the greatest of respect because it is back when the car was new and I already know from the service book I already know that this thing has been meticulously serviced so these all of these little books here these are lovely lovely that they all exist um, but so that tells me that I've got a massive amount just gonna pop this down tells me that I've got a massive amount of paperwork with this car which is awesome now what is all this stuff here guys I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set this camera down so you can see what I'm doing right so I don't have to keep holding the camera <sighs> this looks like an inspection sheet it doesn't say when from so it's had various inspections. It's fine. They've probably come out of some of these folders here, I think. MOT certificates, that's 2018. So that's a recent MOT advisories. Tire worn to the legal limit. Near side rear, offside rear, so both rears. Brake pads wearing thin on the fronts, which is interesting. I, Oh, I need to check that those brake pads have been done. Uh, rear tyres have been replaced with those cheap Sumito tyres. So that doesn't really tell me much. But it does tell me that it's recent MOT. It went through it pretty pretty smoothly. Um, which is great. Uh, odometer reading. One four. So that's interesting. It's done, it has done 7,000 miles in the last. In the, since that MOT. So it has been used. So the chap has been using it a little bit. Okay, Brenhall Car Repairs and MOT. So this is like a garage. Carry out MOT. Okay, repair rear brake pads. Replace rear brake pads. Replace OS front ball joint. Replace, this is good, front shock. Um, what does that say? Roach. Oh God, it'd be good if they could if they could write properly so you can see what they've actually done. What does that say? Re replace near side front shock. Okay, shocker. Shock on. Don't know. Wrote two oh. Don't know what that means. Recat. Oh, it's a shame you can't read their writing to know what they've done. We've got another receipt here, Monks, when was this, 2018, okay so this is the guy that I bought it off who has done this, so this, oh this is good, okay, so it's had the Orcs Belt rear shockers, which is what I think they're writing here, place rear shockers, oh so one garage did the fronts, the other one did the rear, replace idler and deflection pulley, shockers, auxiliary belt, labour, idler. So it's had most of the belts done on this car. Like I said, I was just talking about it in another video, the belts look like they're all new. So that's great. Okay. What's this? What the hell's this? This is an, another MOT for 2018. Why have I got two MOTs? Oh, this is when it, this is 2017, so it expires. So let's get that other MOT. Oh yeah, okay. So this, there we go. Advisories: rear exhaust mount deteriorating, 
Rear road springs corroding. Suspension arm a slight plain ball joint. I think he's had these things done. Need to check the exhaust mount if it's a bit crusty, you know. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it's, it looks like it's the original exhaust. So the exhaust mount probably is gonna be a bit crusty. So let's keep, these are service items, that's MOTs. Let's have a look at what's going on here. So this is the Iridium. Do the inspection service two. Engine oil, doesn't say what oil they used. Oil filter, air filter, that's great. Oil filter, air filter, spark plugs, pollen filter, that pollen filter looks, I'm not saying, uh, is that the cabin filter? It is, isn't it? How much do they charge for that? Unit price, 258 pounds, that can't be right. Oh, that's all. that's the sum total of everything, isn't it? They've just lumped it all together. There's no way a pollen filter would cost that much because the total cost is 310 there. They've lumped it all together. That pollen filter looks really old in the car. But I've had that off and had a look inside it. If it's the cabin filter, so that's definitely older than a year old. I can tell you that much. I'm not saying they haven't done it, but for whatever reason, he might, he might have put an old one back in there or whatever, but that's not, there's not a new pollen filter in there. So... There we go. Hasn't had a fuel filter done though. I need to try and find evidence of the fuel filter being done. Perhaps do that, but I don't really need to do an oil filter, do I? Not. Well, I might might do it. Check lighting. Check horn here. Seatbelt. Okay. These are all things as part of the inspection, I think. Brake pads were good. Yeah, that's good. Let's put that there. I tell you, this car has been maintained better than, you know, it hasn't been, it hasn't just been left, this car, and you, if you sort of first look at it, you would think that it, it's been left, but what's, what hasn't happened is all the niggles on it haven't been fixed, because it can be very time consuming and very expensive, and not everyone has the time to do that, maybe, you know, I bought it to specifically to do that, and the guy's selling it, because he doesn't have time to keep repairing it and you know they're a labor of love um, but the overall maintenance of this car seems pretty good and it and that shows when you actually drive it um, now this is important I'm just gonna pop this back down again hopefully you can see what's going on 2016 investigate oil leak remove front subframe replace sump gasket replace rocker cover gasket replace oil pump housing why would you do that and power steering pump gaskets that power steering f reservoir is covered in crap replace oil where was this what company was this monk brooks limited okay clean out oil trays and road test engine filter uh, engine oil oil filter engine oil sump gasket oil pump gasket well, that's good. If that's all being done, that's really good. Um, you just never know, do you? You never know. You never know. You can always go and, if you want to find out, you go and check all these things, see if they've actually been done. Uh, more MOTs. This is the 2016, ends in 2017 MOT. Cover seals, shields. Direction indicator slightly discolored. It's interesting. Anti roll bar rubber bush deteriorated but not resulting in excessive movement. I wonder if I hope that's being done. You don't want the anti roll bar bushes to be like worn and the roll bar knocking on like a, a bracket or something like that. But it's not, that looks like it's being done. There's no knocking at all. More MOTs. Most of the issues on this seem to be around the shocks, the suspension, which seems about right. Quite typical, I think, of these cars. Slightly discoloured. Indicator. Oh, both rear directional indicator. Slightly discoloured. No, that's not the case now. Maybe he had probably maybe he had some funky bulbs in there at some point. Whole load of MOTs. I'm gonna skip you the boredom of reading all of these MOTs. More 
that's part of the MOT gas analysis. We've got loads of stuff here. Thermo housing, heat register, heat resistor. Well, these are parts, aren't they? Well, we've got the old Euro car parts, Bosch battery. That's that's old. It's just had a brand new battery stuck in it. I need to check what battery's in there. Um, these are old invoices for parts. More parts. Alloy wheel. Refurbish. It's interesting to know, isn't it? Where was this done? Four wheels. Where is that? Not heard of that. Eastley. Well, that's where the chap was uh, roughly based. Or was he? I can't remember. No, it was. Well, yeah, I think, it, I think Eastley's near where, where he was. Uh, oh, okay. And this is interesting, guys. Alloy will refurbed. That must be the previous owner, which is useful. Uh, 400 quid to get these refurbed. That's good to know. They're 18s, are they? Alloy wheel straightening. One of them's been straightened out, or three of them have. There's always a little bit where they get them up on the old spinner. You can always see a little bit of play in them. It's interesting. Uh, ultimate styling. It's had some rear tail light lamps left and right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, spotlight, fog light, oh, that's driver side right. Okay, whatever. Wheel alignment, vines, various works, brakes, wipers, alternator. When was that done? Alternator. Alternator. Back in 2009, interesting, isn't it? It's got seven years out of the original alternator that was put in before it needed to be replaced. So it makes you think you might be on borrowed time again with the alternator. I've checked the alternator. When we run, when we start up the car, we get up to 14 volts, so we're doing good on that front. And these are all old invoices. In 2014, is this the same guy? Yes, it is. So the owner before this one as well, Looks like he kept on top of this car, spent lots of money on it. God, spent lots of money, so there they are. We have a comprehensive ton of paperwork with this car. All of the, the, the first owner. First owner, it looks like, yeah, they've loads of servicing and I've got all that. It's had five previous owners. I know what the the previous owner's done with the car and he's had a fair bit of paperwork. The owner before him has done a lot. I don't know about the second and third owners, to be honest, but I could check a little bit more carefully on names and stuff. I know I'm, I've checked enough anyway, so that's, that's good enough. So what I'm gonna do is put this paperwork back. We have, that is great news, that is. Even here, look, we've got a bag. A bag of these little buckets, all brand new. Hopefully, they're proper BMW ones rather than the old Chinese, Chinese <laughs> cheap ones. It's hard to tell. We'll reserve judgment, but. Where have these come from? Lithuania. That doesn't bode well. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to any Lithuanian viewers. Maybe they were original. Maybe they are original, but they look like an eBay special, they do. But anyway, they're still parts. Better to have them than not have them. Original grills in here. Just chrome ones. Some, some... Weird, he's got two sets of these. I think he bought a set, didn't like them. Probably bought another set. That CD player. We'll get rid of that. It works, probably, but... Who knows? What the hell is this? Tracker. Mm. Stolen vehicle recovery system. Keep it safe. Contact tracker. What is this? Okay. Does that mean TNU serial stolen vehicle operated in all the UK's... Does this mean this car has some sort of tracker in it? 
Um, I don't know what this means. Well, I suppose I just keep that, and if it gets nicked, it's got the TNU serial number there, so maybe it's got some special tracker in it, which is some device hidden away somewhere. But, oh God, I don't know. Tell me about this, guys. If you know anything about tracker, let me know. That's all in the original box. What else do we have here, guys? Let's have a look. Looky here. We've got the original. The original. That is my copy, isn't it? Did I tuck that in there? No, there's my one. That's interesting. Isn't it? So that's going to be the last time. Don't break this. This is the last new owner. Oh, that's that's the guy I bought it off. So he tucked that in when he bought it. Um, Radio pass, oh great, okay. So that's, maybe that could be critical, that is. Could be. And these are all, got this, these are all the funky books that come with it. Dealer warranty. <laughs> aren't they a beautiful car, guys? Aren't they a lovely car, C46? I look at these cars now, and I think they're more beautiful. Will you look at the new G, G, is it G20 BMW? Sorry guys, I know people are gonna be going out there and buying it. When you buy something, you've got it in front of you, you do start to love what you've bought and you, you appreciate the styling and stuff like that on it. But to cut a long story short, I look at the new G series and what BMW are generally doing with their new cars. Those huge, great, funky, cheap plastic grills, like big nostrils, that plastic, fake, kind of chrome, you know, look on them. That, they look cheap to me and they make them big. So it just like makes it look like this big, cheap, plasticky thing on the front that you're staring at. Um, I think it's not being done for the UK market because they look bloody ugly. No disrespect. Um, you know, the big sort of grill thing is more like what the Americans tend to have, kind of like a bold design on the front. Um, or, or maybe even the Chinese market. Very big, bold statement of huge grills. But... Um, if you look at the F series design, like the F, you know, like an F, a nice F series, three series, like was it an F80? F80 is it? Three series. I think the front of that car looks perfect, and the, and the four series as well. It looks great. What they're doing with these new cars, the new G series, G20. There'll be a new four series soon. There's a new M135, isn't there? F4, G40 series. The front of those cars. Look awful I'm saying that as a massive BMW fan but um, the styling of these cars is beautiful okay diagnostic check replace plugs and breather pipe when was that done ooh, ooh, ooh that's interesting monks again diagnostics this is a garage this is a garage, this is very important. This is a garage trying to sort out this error. Because this was done on the April this year. Carry out diagnostic checks, replace plugs and breather pipe. That's got to be the, um, oh, what the hell is it called? CCV, that's got to be, tell me if you know about this. This has had the breather pipe, that's the CCV system, isn't it? That I was talking about earlier on done so it's had plugs and the breather pipe done the breather pipe was only 15 quid maybe it's a different thing <coughs> maybe that's not the CCV crazy 36 quid for the plugs 15 quid for the breather pipe then 90 quid for the labor plus that you end up playing 170 quid just to have your pug plugs and a pipe changed on the car. Everything's so expensive with cars. There you go. That's why doing it yourself is the way to go, isn't it? Let's tuck this away because that's some paperwork. Get that back in there. Is that going to 
similar to these, that's similar to so that needs to go in there. Okay, what else have we got here? That's that tracker thing I talked about. Let's put that in there. What else have we got box wise? So, driver's handbook. Fair enough. Most of that, you can still learn stuff about the car from reading these, I tell you. You should always sit down and go through this. But who does? <laughs> who does? But you should do if you want to know how your car works. Warranty. Technical lexicon. How's that? Owner services. Operating instructions for onboard computer. And of course, the Bed Young Glen Lighton supplementary owner's handbook. Hell, oh, that's all the extra bits, is it? Who cares? Look after your car. <laughs> we could have. Well, that's interesting. I'll be telling you how to wash it. I bet they, that's probably quite good. Car wash. You can put your new BMW through an automatic car wash right from the start. <laughs> because you never know what's around the corner. Accident management. European services. This is lovely when you've got every single bit of paperwork for a car. It's so nice. It's just brilliant. If I ever come to sell this, if I ever come to sell this, it's so important in my opinion. You have everything that you would have got when you bought this car. And finally, what is this thing here? What is this? Oh, this is, oh, okay. Jesus, look at this. Look at all the people, look at all the people that were involved in the car, all the previous, even got the tax. You can put the reg, you can put the MOT stuff in here, insurance, okay. So you can carry this around in the car if you wanted to. Beautiful, that's not an E46. That's a, uh, what is that? That's, a, that's the previous model, isn't it? Get, oh, that's a 5 Series. I don't know what that's going to end up sounding. Is that an E36? Who knows, it's going to end up sounding like an idiot. This looks a bit funky. What is all this stuff here? This stuff looks like it's not much use. Okay. Right. So that's just like some owner's pack. That though, guys, I'm so happy with that. That is absolutely awesome. Because what that means is that that is never going to all fit in there. <laughs> right, so that can go like that. That can go like that. That's not going to shut me, is it? You little swine. Thank you for joining in in this extremely interesting walkthrough of my car's history. Um, that was, as I go through that, um, I'm learning what you learning. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm distracted me because I just said a big scratch. Look at that. And I'm just seeing under all the light how this scuffed up all this paintwork is, man. He's like scratched up my head. I don't know if you can see that. It's so scratched. Look at this. But it's kind of okay. <laughs> it's a nice juicy one. This car will actually, I'm going to get this car looking amazing. We're looking decent. And I'm kind of, kind of looking forward to the fact that it's not going, never going to be perfect. So like I can just jump in it. A bit bubbling there. <laughs> Every, everywhere I look I see something wrong with the 140 it's like in good condition so when you see something wrong you're like ah, and you're constantly trying to be careful around the car you know with this car it's so old it has all these issues if you step back away from it it looks fine um, <laughs> but it's quite overwhelming the amount of things I've got to sort out on this car uh, and it's never going to be perfect. And I'm either going to love that or it's going to drive me bonkers. I think I'm going to love it, actually. Uh, what this will force me to do is just enjoy the car. 
and not get too carried away with trying to make this car um, like a thing of perfection, which is never going to be. One other thing that's really interesting, I'm just going to show you. I took my car into BMW because I had all these dots all over it that were driving me bonkers. And this car's kind of got it as well, a little bit. I think it might, you know, I don't I don't know what's, what's causing this. Everyone said it was an OEM issue, except for BMW. <laughs> and there's me saying to them, this is an OEM issue. This car's kind of got it as well. I wonder if it's just, just, actually, this could actually be just be contamination. And this paintwork on this car is extremely old. Wow, look at this. Okay. Yeah, you get real, you can see the UV damage, can't you? It's really interesting. That's partly to do with the angle of the light as well. It's partly to do with the angle, but you can see this has been sat outside a long time because you've got like the lo lovely rich blue here, which would have been the original colour. And then the, the paint, this isn't because it's been painted. This is because this has been exposed to the sun. I think it's faded, the blue underneath. So that's why that wing doesn't match. And I wonder how much of that I can get back it looks massively different doesn't it in this thing but partly as well it's to do with the angle of this there's not as much difference as you think when you get the angle kind of right but there is a there is a difference i wonder how much of this discoloration it's going to be down to color fade isn't it which means polishing isn't going to be able to fix it so yeah we've got a bit of discoloration this will still look nice if you get the clear coat good but it's faded a little bit I wonder how much of that we can bring back, how much richness. When we get one of those, get a wax that's deep blue and it will magically make the car instantly restored, although it doesn't do jack shit. Okay, um, right, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>